Parents need time to themselves every once in a while, but these days babysitters can cost you the same as your dinner out. Who do you call to watch your kids? Our Fox 4 parenting experts here, Heather Waterfield. So how do you find the right babysitter? Because it's got to be somebody you can trust. Yeah, and it's a daunting task for parents, and especially if you're like me and you've tapped out the grandparents, the aunts and uncles. <laughs> or if you don't have anybody in town that can watch them, you know, you want to find somebody who you can trust because all parents need a night out. It's good for their mental health. So where can you start looking? Um, the first thing is to look in your community. Look in your neighborhood, ask um, your church, your workplace, and ask folks in these places who they might recommend or who they might use as well. Um, Another thing is to ask about their qualifications. The American Red Cross and some local hospitals have some babysitter classes that they can take. Wow. And also look for somebody who might have some first aid and CPR training. And observe them with your children first. Have them come over and see how they interact with your kids or how your kids might interact with them. That might be able to tell you everything. And finally, just with all job opportunities, ask for references and check their references to see what kind of a person they might be when they watch your kids. Too. Does this depend, too, on the age of your kids, the age of the baby? Yes, what's gonna definitely. And, you know, they, they say the recommended age is nobody really under 12 should watch it. And the younger your child is, probably the older you want to have your babysitter as well. Um, so w what can you do when you leave to feel comfortable, right? You found the right person, so what do you do? Um, the first thing is to review those house rules with the babysitter and the children because you want to know things like, is jumping really allowed on the bed? <laughs> oh, we used to sell our babies. Right, all kinds exactly. Of stuff. So <laughs> we're allowed to jump off the roof. Of course we can. Um, you know things like what's appropriate for television. Um, share your children's routines and needs with the babysitter, especially if they're going to be putting them to bed. You know, like you have to ask your child every hour that they need to go to the bathroom, or how many books, or how many glasses of water they can have before they finally have to go to bed. <clears throat> and finally, point out some items that they might need in case of an emergency, like a flashlight or a fire extinguisher, or even a neighbor that might be close by that they can get. Okay. And, and also, make sure you have those emergency phone numbers available for them. It's found that not a lot of parents leave those, not just their numbers, but also emergency phone numbers, neighbors they can call on, other family members in the area, and um, the local hospital or pediatrician that your child might use, too. All right. Thanks, Heather. Mm -hmm. If you want more of Heather's tips and a link to the Family Conservancy, where she works, go to fox4casey.com and click on Mornings.